Hey guys and welcome! With me today I have this lovely, lovely lady. It's been such a long time since I've had Golden Girl... Golden Girl... <laughs> golden... Golden Girl out. Sorry guys, it's been such a long time since I've had Golden Girl out because, as you may have seen on Instagram, she did produce some eggs for me. And I was so super excited because I've been trying for so well not i've been trying my snakes has been trying for so long to produce some eggs so i was absolutely thrilled when she finally did lay some eggs and i it was totally uh unexpected to me because i saw her and i thought she was pregnant or gravid as it's called she looked very very gravid like she was very very uh chubby and she was glowing as well that's also a sign of them being preggo but then suddenly she turned all skinny again and then it seemed like she had maybe absorbed the follicles and wouldn't produce any egg and then I thought that's okay you know I will give her a couple of months for a break I will feed her you know and just you know take good care of her and then maybe I'll try again but then suddenly one morning I come in I check on her like I do every day and boom eggs so that was just that was so great you know some of the eggs unfortunately were slugs but there was one egg that was fertilized and that one egg is currently in the incubator the way that I could see that the egg was fertilized was that I took a flashlight and then I put it very close to the eggs and I could see small veins inside the egg and that did tell me that yes indeed that one egg were fertilized so now I am just I'm super thrilled I'm super excited maybe even more than I should be there was actually someone on Instagram I believe it was who told me that I should definitely name the snake even if it was a good boy or a girl I should name the snake uh, Nemo because like in Nemo it was just this one egg that survived so I'm definitely I think I'm definitely gonna do that this egg was produced as I said before from Golden Girl and Noel and Golden Girl she's a pastel caramel albino so she has three genes in her and Noel he's a lesser mojave now I'm not sure if I'm saying mojave right or wrong someone has corrected me I'm not sure I'm gonna call it mojave you know what I'm talking about guys the combination of these five genes are gonna produce uh, one of four possible outcomes. One of them being a single gene pastel, a single gene mojave, and then it can be either a mojave and lesser combined, or it can be a lesser pastel also combined. So there's these four combinations that can come out of this breeding that I did. Of course, all of them will be head caramel albino. And head here meaning that it's not gonna be a visible gene, like for example, pastel is a visible gene, but it's not gonna be uh, in this egg so it's gonna be head caramel albino if my little Nemo once it gets big is bred to another head caramel albino that will produce visible caramel albinos but this one here irregardless of whichever morph it's gonna be when it's uh, gonna hatch it will be a head caramel albino I really don't have a preference which one I want like either way it's gonna be an amazing snack I mean I'm so super thrilled about it so I don't really care if it's gonna be a pastel a lesser pastel or whichever but if I had to choose between those four I think I would go with one uh, maybe the single gene mojave with the head caramel albino because I love the mojave it's such a gorgeous snake now the egg is in the incubator right now and it will stay there for just about 60 days like something like two months and it's very important that it stays within the same temperature like if the temperature spikes like it drops or gets too high that can cause some disfigurement uh, to the snake when it's born that can for example cause a kink tail a kink body it can also cause the snake to simply die so luckily if I did everything correctly Correctly, I know that my golden girl and Noel certainly did everything correct. This little tiny Nemo egg and it will hatch around early October. I believe I set the date to something alongside the 9th of October. I know that some breeder they cut open the egg, some don't. I don't know yet if that's what I'm gonna do because on one hand of course I want to cut open the egg so to make sure that the snake survives but if the snake is not strong enough to come out of the egg on its own should it survive? So that's kind of like an ethical discussion and I'm very interested in hearing your opinion on that. Should you cut open the egg or not? Just post it right down in the comment section. Well guys that was all for today that was a little update on how my reading uh, was going uh, also also that's big news I am trying to breed Noel with Rowena hopefully that would result in some beautiful little bells I'm really hoping for it if you did enjoy the video please leave a like it really does help me and of course my animals out a lot and if you want to see more just hit subscribe right away thank you guys so much and bye bye